Okay, folks, today we have 14 dash question mark question mark the sequel to a game that I played earlier and I've got to say already menu music top tier might be best menu music I've heard so far uh, But let's hop in Yo 3d effects, so I'm imagining this is pretty similar to uh the first game. The first game, we just walked through different rooms and then that was it. There wasn't... Ooh. Oh. Teleporter. But yeah, I think it's like just an exploration game. Alright, we've got some whirring. But yeah, I mean, I would guess that there's no more point to this one than the last one, so... It's just to see what interesting stuff we can find. It's a lot more graphically... Uh, oh, this one's like destroyed. It's a lot more graphically advanced than the other one, I can say that. Alright, well, we got another one of these. Ah, it always takes you here. Oh, another blue guy. Hello. Okay. We do have a... Oh, we don't have a menu. This just saves. Hi, right, wonderful. Exit. I doubt it. Oh, those are holes. Yep. Mm, I've had bad experiences with wacky faces in this game, in the, uh, in the past game, so I don't know how much I trust this. Can you jump in all these holes? No, just that one. Okay, blank. But there were some creepy rooms in the last one, so... Ooh, see, look! Face in the top left. Don't trust it. Alright, we got, like, some joysticks. Ah! Okay. That's quite the audio. back to the normal room. Alright, so now I actually have some of these squares. They were in the teleporter room, but they're down here. Little... Oh, they switch. Is there something in the background? Some noise? Do they switch only after I've walked like a certain amount of steps? Oh, I get it. They're buttons. They're not just corners. You stop on them, they switch all the others. Ooh. Rock. Thing. That's actually a hole. Hi, right, wonderful. Okay, we're gonna save. So last game, there was something exactly like this. Step in the middle, get trapped. So I'm gonna sacrifice myself for you folks. It's the same room. <laughs> ha ha ha. It's the same room. Epic. Yep, and nothing. Ooh, okay. Yeah, that sucks. I well, you know, it just did the favor for me. Um, alright, that kind of creeped me. Last time, I don't think anything happened. Last time, you would just get stuck in the room. Door. Can't get to it. What does this say about society? Aye. Ooh. Some more levers. Don't do anything. Alright, these again. It's like every room has its own little soundtrack. Alright, we're back here. It's moved. Is it supposed to be like a person? Or is it just like a construct? Right, another teleporter. Oh. It's the same. Curious. Alright, well it doesn't really change anything. I'm hoping to find something like how in the last game you could change your guy's color. I want to find something like that. That's my goal. 
super 3D. It's like a fog layer. Wonderful. Yeah, I like the look of this one a lot more than the last one. It's a lot more advanced. Oh, we got some cube spires. Right back here. There's a lot of rooms like that. They're all just slightly different. Doors. I think that the the sounds in the background are actually kind of uh, taken randomly. Like, I don't think it's... I don't think every room has its own sound so much as some rooms just change the sound to a random one. Alright, well we got the face again. Yeah, right. Alright, another teleporter. So I guess this is the same. It's gonna put the lines on the bottom. Ooh. Can we jump in? No. See, the same wrap as uh, last time. We'll just keep going until we uh, don't see anything. Ooh, same room twice in a row. What are the chances? Hello. Yeah, let's uh, let's save. How you doing? Hi. That's fine. I don't have to. A lot of doors. Again. Boom, boom, boom. What happens if you press every button? I don't think you can. Yeah, there's not, they're not distributed enough that you could do that. Okay. Definitely gonna make an analysis video on this when I finish them. Oh, that's fancy. There's actually three of these. There's a third one. So I have to play that too. And as I see, I've just seen some screenshots. It's even wackier graphically than these ones are. Bongos! Yo, let's just stay in this room. Nice. But yeah, it's even more graphically wacky than this one is, so. Each one's just an evolution of the same concept. Ooh. That noise is, always gets to me. I like to take the teleporters. I don't think they mean anything. I think it's a random chance either way. Hey, this is like... Th there is a room just like this in the first one. I think it even used the same sound. So we have some familiar things. Okay. That's probably my favorite room so far. I'll put my stamp of favorite room on that one. This one's just one cube. Alright, we're back here. Time to go back on the other side of this room this time. Alright, back to our friend here. Just a triangle. This room's fun. At least we have a different color than white and black. Some pink shades in there. See, now, so the last game, I was kind of on edge because I didn't know what it was supposed to be. Now I feel like I'm in my zone. You know, I I know I know what's up. I know what's up. I've played I've played this before. I know what's up. Uh yeah, I know what's up. There we go. And we got another teleporter. Back to here. Can't do anything. Wonderful. Ooh, this one's just kind of messed up is all. There's like a weird gray pixel above me if you see that. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Uh, and then there's like a half tile. 
So just some weird stuff in that room. Ooh. Okay. A barrier. That's kind of a wild static. Alright, well I guess there's nothing to be done there. Go back. Alright. Hello, friend. I know what's up with you. Click. Ooh. I don't like that there's no mound. There's this really creepy room in the last one. I barely remember what it was, but it was like all, it was like a whole black room with like a face or something built in the wall. And it was really eerie because it was a different color than everything else. And I'm afraid, and it had weird music too. And it's like, I know that this, there's gotta be something similar in this one. Okay, I'll turn back. Ooh, this one's new. No, please, I just want to get to him. I can't... There's like... I, well, I didn't mean to go back yet, but I... There was like a barrier. I wanted to talk to my lad. Alright, folks, one more time. Oh. Hey, gray pixel. Ah, uh, we can't do it. There's like... These black rectangles are actual objects. They're not just like weird distortions. Oh. Same room. Okay, wonderful. Hop in there. Hmm. Something about these rooms really puts me off. I think it's like this little circle thing here looks like a like a face. And it's it's the the, the noise too. It's just so deep. Alright, back to there. Can't go past those, so we'll go back. Fog room. Hey, you know, usually we teleport into this room. I don't know if we've gotten this room just by walking. I don't know how, I don't know if there's a way to get to that face. I guess I should try next time I get that room. Hmm. I don't like it when it gets quiet, but I don't really like this music much more, so... Any way to get up there? No. I mean, I'm gonna be honest, I don't really want to touch distorted smiley face, but for the purpose of science, I'll try. But it doesn't look like there's a way. Ooh. Oh, that was a nice noise. Hi, another black barrier. Can't get past those. Uh, we've been here before. I like this guy. I wish we could, like, talk to him or be friends or something. Like, I'd like to be blue. I'd do that. Where does he- does he go anywhere? It's probably just random. Like, surely he's not walking in a real path. If you analyze his steps and you go directly in those directions for each room, you'll, you'll beat the game. takes longer than walking. So if you notice in this room, you gotta press this twice before it actually changes, like... Alright, well never mind, I guess I was just wrong, but before, if you go back to the room before, it definitely took two presses before it actually changed. Click, click, click. I mean, you gotta take the teleporters. See, you know what? Number one innovation... Ooh. Number one inno innovation of the sequel is that there's teleporters. So we've... In the lore, the lore of 14 question mark, we have gone up in technology to the point of teleporters. So this is beyond the primitive times of 14 question mark. I've also seen it written as 14 2, which is a lot easier to say. And I've pretty much only seen 14 dash question mark question mark question mark referred to as 14 dash 3. So that's probably what I'll call it because it's just a lot easier. Still don't know the meaning of 14. You know, in the last game, didn't we have a lot of the number 14 all around? This game, I there's no numbers, like there's no motif. It's just you have some black rooms and some white rooms. And I, st I don't know if. I don't know if there's. Is there a difference? I guess most of the black rooms have like rock stuff in them. 
So they might be like caves and stuff, and then the white rooms have these cubes. But like, this has no cave stuff, so... Yeah, I'm not sure if they're supposed to be, uh, core, like a meaning... Uh, well, there's cubes here too, so yeah. This reminds me of the I Permit room from the last game. It's very nat- it was a very natural sequel, I think. You know, in a, in a game where it's just exploring random rooms, you can kind of just keep making it forever. Ooh, hey, doors. Can we go in these? Yo, the, I'm being scammed. I finally can reach doors and I can't enter them? That's painful. Yo, dude, it gets, it's louder if you stand in them. This is the best room. Ah, uh, you know what, didn't I say like the clicky button room was my, f this is favorite room. I didn't know the bongos were a part of this room specifically. I thought they would just happen randomly. That's nice. You know what, in face of creepy rooms, that's a good one. The smile trap is still the worst uh, thing uh, I've ever played. Okay, we're stopped again. Can't go past there. I mean, we change color temporarily when we walk into the barrier, we go gray. Another teleporter. I mean, I have to take it, I'm obligated. And again, I don't think these mean anything. Uh, because, like, the last game had that map room. But this doesn't really look. It's not nearly as coherent as that was. I don't know how I would interpret it. I, what if I just wait? The face is what weirds me out about this room. Like, why is it up there? Well, you know, I mean, I guess it's not that weird. It probably doesn't do anything. Yeah, whatever. Hey, we're back. Doesn't feel like there's as many rooms in this one. This guy's still here. Hello, friend. Yeah, guys, watch out for my 14-room tier list. Watch out for that video. That's when we get to have some real fun. I'm still bongo time. I'm probably still going to make videos uh, on these games where I just show off every room sequentially. Because there's no like wiki or anything, you know, so might as well take it upon myself. I mean, I have most of the footage here already. I, I feel like we haven't seen anything new in a while, still holding out a bit. And I apologize for comparing everything in this game to the first one, it's just... I don't have much else to compare it to. I mean, you guys see what I'm playing. It's kind of a... Like, see, like, I don't know what else you compare this to except something made by the same creator, you know? Get ready for a cool 3D animation. I like the noise. Cube. How? Can't do anything with this. Now, you know, the innovation I want to see in the next game is cross-room interactions. We have the teleporters here. 
but you know if there was like a any sort of progress you could make you know that would probably the sounds not the sounds gone we broke it there's no fog walk sound wow some sick 14 dash question mark question mark glitches could kind of like pretend you're like the wizard like look at my hat I'm not I I know your tricks I'm gl I'm happy to see that the classic is back but I don't need I don't need to fall for this again I'm gonna be honest with you guys, that room tier list might not even be a joke. You know what I did with the Lost in the Static mod. I, I just come up with these brilliant ideas, one after another, you know? Just these high quality content ideas, all the time. See, the music really makes it seem like you're supposed to be, like, this, this music, this is like, I'm um, diffusing a bomb kind of music. But there's there's no interaction to be had. You can see my foot by one pixel. Like, does this is this is this actually like a three second loop? Yeah, there's nothing to be. It's like a laugh. Triangle. Yeah, you just keep playing until you get the 1 in 500 chance to get teleported to, like, the hell, the hell room. Dude! We're getting lucky. Hello. See, this guy doesn't screw me over. Why is it that, like, the most... Ooh, you can go that far. Why is it that, like, the most scary-looking face is actually friendlier than the smile face? back here I mean I guess they're like levers because the other one switches the room colors but they're I mean they're really just like pull they're whatever they're whatever they want to be in whatever room they want to be not everything has to be so defined some things can just be oh, I would be going a little bit longer here but I'm pretty sure I've seen most of it, unless there's something really rare that I'm missing. Yep. The walking noise is very satisfying. Here we go. It's like a pen being snapped, uh, you know, like turned on and off in succession when you're walking. That's what it sounds like. Alright, very comforting room. Good times. Still don't know what those, like, what are these pillars supposed to be? Like, you can see that they block because they, they cover up, like, the light part of the stage. It's just weird that they're pitch black. See, if you notice, it says 1 and then 40. So, you know, there's our 14, I guess. Um, except it's more like 140. But I'm pretty sure 40 was also on the walls in the last game, so it's not too off-kilter for my favorite game series. Okay. I mean, can't go anywhere. It really just blocks you off. Oh, 
Hi, right, well. I won't carry it on too long since we're not finding anything else. Uh, how about we give it five more rooms? One. Same room. That doesn't count. One. I right, wonderful. Broken teleporter. I wonder what this says about the lore. Two. Hello, friend. Three. Our favorite rock wall. A four. Wonderful. And a five. Okay. Well, that's about, uh... That's, I'm kind of getting addicted here. I should probably stop before I keep walking, like, 20 more rooms. Um... This is kind of nice. I like this. Uh, it was an upgrade from the last game visually. It just seems that there's less room variety. Uh, because, I mean, I feel like I explored all the rooms really quickly here compared to the last one. The last one was like 40 minutes long, and this, this does not feel like it's been that long. Uh, but it was enjoyable. Uh, I like that, I appreciate that there's nothing too spooky. Smiley face room, that's about the extent of my, my spook factor. Uh, so I, I appreciate that. And I'm happy to play the next game and see what's in there. I don't even know if it's finished. It might just be like a beta. Well, it's on the website. It's probably finished. Um, I'll have the download link. Uh, I don't know if I can quit to the menu, but I'll have the download link in the comments for you. It's on just like a normal website. A bit tricky to get working, but I'm sure you smart folks can figure it out. Uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're interested in more videos like this or if you want to see that analysis video. And I will uh, talk to you guys later.